morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body, the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulation, skin care, we've been talking skin care now for a couple months. We'll continue talking about healthy, beautiful skin. If you have questions about ingredients in skin care products or skin care formulations or supplements, you want to wean yourself off meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your calls, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team and start yourself a longevity business and help spread the word about how important a nutritional supplement program can be, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, Retinol 5% Gel or Truth Serum made with 60 plus percent premium lipophilic fatty vitamin C, or our Truth uh, Night Balm or Omega-6 Healing Cream. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And if you've tried to Facebook friend me, uh, friend me on Facebook, on my personal Facebook page, it's filled up and not take, can't take any more friends. I guess you only get a certain amount of friends on your personal page, but you can go over to the Truth With Ben Facebook page, the Truth With Ben. We update those with posts and, and news stories also. That's the Truth with Ben, and you can also find out about all our Truth Treatment products and any specials that we're running with the Truth Treatment products. Okay, we're talking pigment, we're talking skin pigmentation, we're talking melasma, and as we've said, it's largely a female issue, dark spots, 90% of patients who have these problems with dark spots, pigmentary disorders, are women, and that means likely the involvement of the hormone estrogen. Now, estrogen is not necessarily only a woman's hormone. It's associated with women, it's associated with female because women make more of it than men and also it's involved in pregnancy, but it's not that men don't make estrogen, especially as we get older. As men get older, they tend to make more estrogen. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. There's a lot of misunderstandings around the hormone estrogen. There's a lot of mythology around the hormone estrogen and a lot of this has to do with the fact that uh, drug companies make a lot of money selling estrogen products. This whole drug company propaganda and and using estrogen for menopause and using estrogen for hot flashes and estrogen is a a female youth hormone began in the 1960s with the publication of a book called Feminine Forever, which was written by a doctor who made the cover of Time magazine for his book. This was a kind of a radical idea in the early 1960s that you could actually take a pill and stay young and beautiful if you were a woman. You could actually take a pill and eliminate the signs of menopause. Now, of course, that's not true, but when the book came out, there was very little understanding. There's still little understanding in the, in the mainstream about the hormone estrogen, but there was even less in the early 1960s when Dr. Robert Wilson, who is the author of this book, hypothesized that the administration of pharmaceutical estrogen could completely eliminate menopause. This was the idea. In the book, Dr. Wilson actually calls menopause a disease. 
He says it's a, quote, serious, painful, and awful, often crippling disease, menopause. And where did, uh, where did Dr. Wilson get these ideas about estrogen that ended up being the cause of thousands, maybe millions of women subjecting themselves to the toxic effect of what is a stress hormone at the end of the day, estrogen? From one study on uh, 300 women that was published in the American uh, Journal of the American Medical Association in 1962. And, oh, by the way, Dr. Wilson didn't mention that, uh, that his research was paid for by the drug companies, specifically drug companies that were selling estrogen, most notably a drug company called Wyeth, which is uh, the company that first invented or first developed the famous estrogen drug, pregnant mare urine, or Premarin, which is derived from horse urine. Not that that necessarily is a big deal, but the fact is, is do you really want to take a horse hormone? I mean, who came up with this stuff? Equine estrogen, horse estrogen. Now, it's chemically, perhaps, it's similar to human estrogen, but nonetheless, do you really want to play around with an exogenous hormone that's derived from horse urine? Estrogen is made in the body. Specifically, estrogen is made in our fat cells. It's made throughout the body, really, but one of the major places where estrogen is made is in fat cells, and it doesn't matter if those fat cells belong to a male or a female, and if you're a guy listening to this, this, uh, this uh, talk on estrogen, and you're tuning out because you think that we're only talking to women, you're missing some good stuff here. If you are a gentleman in uh, your 40s or 50s or 60s and you're starting to notice that you've got some body fat going on and your libido is dropping and uh, you're dealing with sexual performance issues and you're just sluggish and not, don't have that same drive that you had when you were a kid, chances are pretty good you're starting to crank out that estrogen. This is one very, very important reason for losing body fat if you're a guy or a woman, or a woman for that matter. Because estrogen is made in fat cells, when you lose body fat, your estrogen levels drop, and that means you're making male, more, your, the male hormone that you're making is going to be more potent and more effective. So just another good reason to lose body fat. Estrogenicity in men is a major, major problem. And guys, anything we can do to reduce the production of estrogen is going to be in our longevity interest. Estrogen is a stress management hormone associated with inflammation and clotting and, and a jumpy, hyperactive immune system. It's a known carcinogen. Chronic exposure to estrogen can suppress repair and reproduction. Yet every year, millions and millions, tens of millions of prescriptions for estrogen and estrogen-like products are, uh, are foisted on the American public. Two billion dollars, more maybe in business for uh, drug companies. It's big business, estrogen. And this is true, not only in terms of doctors and, and even alternative practitioners are milking this, the estrogen cash cow with so-called bioidentical hormone therapy. And I don't want to step on toes or offend any of my friends because I have a lot of naturopath friends and chiropractor friends and female friends who, who are all about their natural and bioidentical hormone therapy. I'm just going to tell you from a chemistry perspective, there's no such thing as bioidentical hormone therapy. No such thing doesn't exist. It's a marketing phrase. You cannot, cannot, cannot be bioidentical. It doesn't work that way. In my opinion, exposing yourself to estrogen, whether it's pharmaceutical estrogen or so-called bioidentical estrogen, in my opinion, is just not a good idea. Estrogen is a stress management hormone upregulated when the body is in a survival mode. And if you stick estrogen in your body, you're telling your body, you're signaling to your body that it's in some kind of survival mode. Estrogen is associated with the movement of water into and out of cells. This is one reason why inflammation and estrogen go hand in hand. This is one reason why water weight and estrogen production go hand in hand. I'm always suspecting estrogen involvement in health challenges. As a healthcare professional, as a therapist, I always suspect the involvement of estrogen in a patient who's got PMS, autoimmunity, weight gain, sluggishness, hypothyroidism, lack of libido, and you'll notice these things all go together. People who have a lack of libido oftentimes have weight gain problems and sluggishness problems and autoimmune problems. I'm always suspecting estrogen. And if you have hyperpigmentation or melasma and you're dealing with any of these other issues, guaranteed there's some kind of involvement with estrogen. And you can also tell that estrogen is involved by looking at body type. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Okay, 
we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in our next segment. Tomorrow we're going to talk to uh, uh, about enzymes to Troy Apperle. I think he says his last name. Uh, we're talking about enzyme health. Enzymes are getting set to be the next big thing in the world of nutrition. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. You know, we talk a lot about vitamins on this program, but vitamins are just coenzymes, at least at least a couple of them are coenzymes. It's actually enzymes that are doing the work. And the fact that we don't eat enzymes any longer or don't eat a lot of enzymes, we don't eat fresh living foods, sprouts and vegetables are great sources of enzymes. We don't eat fresh living foods any longer. We eat processed foods and enzyme deficiency is thought to be a really serious health issue. We're going to talk about that tomorrow on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in the bottom of the hour. And if you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can sign up right from, the, right from the website. You can also order longevity products right off the website as well. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Today on the Bright Side, we're talking about estrogen. If you're dealing with an autoimmune problem, if you have a, a hyperpigmentation, dark spots, PMS, weight gain, sluggishness, hypothyroidism, lack of sexual drive, all of these are indicators that you may not be processing estrogen correctly. And I can always tell if there is an estrogen, if there's estrogen involvement in a health challenge by looking at body type. There's actually an estrogen body type, estrogenic body type. The estrogenic body type uh, is round, curvy, buxom. Estrogenic patients will tend to have thicker hair, and they will, will also have weight issues or body fat issues. So if you're dealing with an autoimmune problem, if there's hypothyroidism involved, if you have menstrual reproductive issues, including PMS or endometriosis, problems with libido or sexual drive, if you have a, an issue with infertility, estrogen's birth control, Fibromyalgia, fibroids, cysts, if you have nodules, and if you have hyperpigmentation or melasma, you can pretty much assume that you've got an estrogen issue. If any of this sounds familiar, if you're dealing with any of these kinds of, of health challenges, you want to focus on estrogen and how your body handles it using supplements, progesterone cream, pregnenolone capsules. These can be helpful. And most importantly, most importantly, if you have a problem with estrogen, and by the way, estrogen is pro-cancer, breast cancer, and uterine cancer, and ovarian cancer, all of these can involve estrogen. Intestinal cancer, intestinal cancers, uh, digestive system cancers can also involve estrogen. If any of these sound familiar, if you're dealing with any of these kinds of stresses, use progesterone cream. Get yourself on pregnenolone capsules, maybe 100 milligrams a day, and first and foremost, First and foremost, when it comes to estrogen metabolism, estrogen processing, estrogen health issues, whether it's melasma or autoimmunity or, God forbid, cancer, reproductive issues, you got to focus on foods and the digestive system, especially fats and fat malabsorption. Now, I know we talk about this all the time, but we, do t we talk about this all the time for good reason. There is probably nothing more important for good health and longevity and reversal of, of pretty much all health challenges than to focus on the digestive system, especially fats and fal fat malabsorption. And this is extra, extra important if you have an estrogen problem. There is a major connection, a major, 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 major connection between estrogen and the digestive system. And this is really where we have our power over autoimmunity and over inflammatory conditions and over our melasma. Between bile, the liver, the intestine, the gallbladder, and even the pancreas and the stomach, you have your main targets that you want to address if you're dealing with an estrogen issue, an inflammatory issue, and an autoimmune issue. And when it comes to all of these problems, nothing is more important for the processing of estrogen than probiotics, good bacteria. And we talk about this all the time, but in my opinion, we don't talk about it anywhere nearly enough. Probiotics, good bacteria, these are the fundamental aspects, the fundamental elements of health in the body, especially when it comes to estrogen and fat metabolism. Bacteria in the gut process and metabolize estrogen for better or worse. Because you see, 
it's not so much estrogen that's the problem. It's the metabolites, the breakdown products, the derivatives of estrogen that create, wreak havoc, really, create all kinds of health issues. It's the breakdown products of estrogen, and for better or worse, good breakdown products, bad breakdown products, toxic breakdown products, or harmless breakdown products, these all are dependent on the kind of bacteria and the amounts of bacteria that live in the gut. You guys, you cannot do anything more important for your health, especially if you're dealing with a health challenge, be it melasma, cancer, autoimmunity, hypothyroidism, whatever. You cannot do any better than to get yourself on the Biolumin Nightly Essence or a really good probiotic supplement. I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence and make sure you're eating your fermented food. Estrogen is processed in the digestive system, specifically the liver, the intestine, and gut bacteria. And if you're dealing with any estrogen-based health issue, in addition to getting on progesterone cream, in addition to using pregnenolone, in addition to using fatty vitamins, especially vitamins E and A, which can help protect against excess estrogen, focus on your digestive health, get on your probiotics, your Biolumin Nightly Essence, eat sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, tempeh, any kind of fermented food, make your own fermented food, get a book called The Art of Fermentation, get another book called Wild Fermentation, which is not quite as complicated comprehensive as the art of fermentation. Use your Fucoid Z, which helps support probiotics in the intestine. Make sure you're eating fiber. Grind up your veggies. Make vegetable juices. Use celery juice and beet juice. Use anything with fiber. And grind up flax seeds. Grind up nuts. Fiber and estrogen and probiotics also go hand in hand in hand. Digestive enzymes, especially lipase, L-I-P-A-S-E. Lipase is a digestive enzyme that helps you process fat. Use lecithin granules. If you have any kind of estrogen issues, these are very important strategies for helping your body process this super important hormone. Lecithin granules, digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar. There's a really, really, really cool uh, aspect to uh, apple cider vinegar and digestive enzymes that we'll talk about tomorrow when it comes to melasma and hyperpigmentation, actually when it, uh, di digestive enzymes in particular, anything you could do to focus on, uh, to focus on fat absorption. Probiotics, of course, can be particularly helpful. Now, these are all internal strategies and there's lots more that you can do, but from a topical aspect or topical perspective, there's also stuff you can do. You're not going to cure the problem topically, but there's a lot of benefits that you can get. Hydroquinone is the go-to topical a pharmaceutical. If you go to the doctor, dermatologist, almost guaranteed you're going to get hydroquinone. We've talked a lot about that. Go through the archives if you want to, if you want to learn more about hydroquinone. There's a natural form of hydroquinone. We've talked about arbutin, A-R-B-U-T-I-N, much milder. And then we get into the nutritional topicals. Vitamin C is the most important. Vitamin C is a powerful skin lightener. Vitamin C is just a tremendous, almost a panacea, meaning it's good for everything. And because it's water-soluble, the vast majority of us are going to be deficient in vitamin C. But topically, you can do some tremendous things with vitamin C. In fact, in my humble opinion, this is the go-to. This is the first thing that you want to apply topically to your skin if you're dealing with any health challenge, be it wrinkles, acne, dry skin, or hyperpigmentation. Uh, vitamin C is a skin lightener on top of everything else. All those uh, unbelievable benefits. You know, we talk about how amazing vitamin C is internally, all the wonderful things it does internally, but it has the same uh, broad spectrum of activity on the skin as it does inside the body. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010. We are back on the bright side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We've got lines open for you. We'll get your calls here momentarily. Got a letter yesterday or a couple days ago from a, a gal who wanted me to talk about an article that was uh, published all over the press. I got it from the Daily Mail. Beefing up without meat, vegan bodybuilders reveal how they get ripped up by eating just vegetables. This uh, gal wanted me to comment on the idea of uh, building muscle without eating meat. Well, you don't need to eat meat. You don't need to eat uh, animal protein necessarily to build muscle. You can build muscle by using the amino acids and the nitrogen that's found in beans and found in vegetables. Remember, uh, Popeye didn't eat hamburgers. He didn't eat steak. He ate spinach. Spinach is filled with nitrogen. We've talked about this in the past. Nitrates and nitrogen are super important for building muscle. And you can indeed build lots of great muscle. You can be a bodybuilder. You can be a football player. You can be a, a prime athlete by just being a vegan or a vegetarian. But 
It's much easier if you're eating animal protein. Why? Because there are growth factors found specifically in eggs and dairy, and there's building amino acids found in meat and fish protein that are not found in vegan or vegetarian protein. It's just not going to happen. Now, I am not a big believer in eating lots of meat. These days, meat is not necessarily good food, but the fact of the matter is it's much easier to build tissue, to repair, to anti-age if you're getting the growth factors, the building factors that are found specifically in eggs and dairy. Now, because of the way we, we uh, uh, farm our, our dairy cattle and because of homogenation, homogenization and pasteurization, pasteurization is when dairy is subject to high heat, enzymes are killed off and vitamins are destroyed. Dairy is just not good food not quality food unless you're eating raw dairy unless you got a you're in one of those few states that allows you to eat raw dairy eggs on the other hand are a powerful building food the growth factors growth peptides that are found in dairy and are found in uh, eggs are not found in any vegetables they're only found in dairy and eggs and in my opinion it's a shame to waste those wonderful growth factors and and antibiotic factors too just just super powerful life inducing factors that are found in eggs which are at the end of the day are a life and dairy which at the end of the day are designed to build a life and you're not going to get those can you do it without eating meat i'm sorry without eating uh, eggs and dairy yes you can vegans can build muscle there are vegan football players and there's vegan bodybuilders and you can build a serious amount of muscle just by being a vegan but it's a lot harder to do it and if you're not a competitive bodybuilder, you don't have hours to spend in the gym, chances are pretty good that you're not going to get the muscle building and the repair and the uh, bone building and tissue building benefits uh, by strictly eating a vegan diet. That's my opinion on that. And you've probably seen this article. Uh, if, you, if you Google um, uh, vegan bodybuilders, you'll probably get this article on the Internet. I got it from the Daily Mail, dailymail.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Oklahoma and welcome David to the bright side. What's up, David? How you doing, man? David. Do we have David? Hello? Hey, David. Hey, David. What's going Hello. on? Hey. Uh, I had a question I wanted to ask about testosterone. Sure. I wanted to know if there was any side effects to taking <laughs> zillions. The side of, uh, the, zillions. Uh, cream or the shots. Yeah, zillions of oh. side effects. It's a hormone. Oh, really? It's not a supplement. It's a hormone. And uh, you'll, you'll get stronger. You'll build if you do it correctly. And I would recommend the cream uh, more than the injection. And as we get older, as, right. as, as we get older, our testosterone drops. Here's a couple issues about testosterone. It's a, a major, major growth element, as you probably know. Uh, testosterone is associated with the growth of cells. Testosterone is also associated with the growth of muscle, of course. Uh, testosterone is associated with oily skin, with acne, with hair loss. So it's got a good side and it's got a bad side to it. Got to be careful about uh, about exogenously including hormones in your in your daily regimen. One of the easiest ways to bump up your testosterone bump up testosterone's effects in the body is to reduce estrogen. In fact, I think this is the best way to raise your testosterone levels is to reduce the amount of estrogen you're producing. Estrogen and testosterone are antagonistic. They balance each other out. And as your estrogen levels go up, testosterone effects drop. And we said earlier that the way, one of the main ways that, testosterone, or that estrogen effects get, uh, go up and testosterone levels drop is through body fat. The more body fat you're carrying, the more mm -hmm. estrogen effects you're going to have and the less testosterone effects you're going to have. So the first thing you want to do before you go on testosterone injections or testosterone cream or testosterone replacement is try to get rid of your body fat. There's also an antagonistic relationship between, uh, uh, between uh, uh, elevated blood sugar, or I should say insulin resistance and testosterone. Insulin and testosterone work together, but when your body becomes resistant to insulin, which occurs over time, it also becomes resistant to the building effects of testosterone. So the second thing you want to do is reset your insulin sensitivity. These are the two non-toxic ways to improve male effects, androgenic effects, testosterone uh, building effects, testosterone effects uh, in general, is by reducing body fat, and number two, by resetting your body's insulin sensitivity. Of course, the best way to do that is to restrict or go zero tolerance, if you can, to any foods that spike up insulin. Ironically, you need a little bit of insulin to get testosterone effects, but as time goes on and our body stops listening to insulin, we don't get that same benefit. We don't get that insulin sensitivity, uh, insulin uh, 
insulin's ab ability to a factor to improve testosterone effects drops as we become resistant. So resetting your body's sensitivity to insulin by restricting your sugars and losing body fat. Those are the two best ways to up-regulate or improve testosterone's effects on the body. That is for bodybuilding, muscle building, anti-aging, bone building, etc. Now, another thing you could do is you can use supplements that help improve testosterone's effects, and there's a lot of them. Zinc is probably the, the most important. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why not everybody is supplementing with zinc. It's cheap, mm -hmm. costs you like a penny a day for 50 milligrams of zinc. Look for zinc picolinate, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, picolinate. And then uh, whenever you're taking your zinc, it's probably a good idea to use a little bit of copper with it. A little bit of maybe two milligrams of copper, uh, copper chelate with 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate. So in addition to keeping your uh, body fat down or reducing body fat, in addition to uh, resetting your insulin sensitivity by going off of sugar for a little bit or restricting your sugar for a little bit, you can also use zinc to upregulate testosterone's effects. You can also use uh, essential fatty acids, omega-3 essential fatty acids and omega-6 essential fatty acids have, a, have a, a nice beneficial effect on testosterone. So does vitamin C. So does iodine, for that matter, has a nice beneficial effect on uh, on uh, on uh, testosterone effects. And you'll know, by the way, without uh, being too graphic here, you'll know, by the way, when you're improving your testosterone effects for men, when you have a morning erection. Morning erections are a sign that your testosterone is going, you're getting some better benefits or better effects from testosterone. And the opposite is true. When you start losing that morning erection that you have when you're a kid, uh, that's how you know that your testosterone levels are starting to drop. There's a couple other miscellaneous supplements that you might want to think about for testosterone. DHEA, love that stuff, DHEA. Um, that can also have a beneficial effect on testosterone. Progesterone cream sometimes helps, and also pregnenolone can help as well. And don't forget to make sure that you're getting a lot of good quality protein, whey protein, egg protein. If you're a vegan, then of course, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but whey protein, egg protein are your best pro-testosterone forms of protein. Meat, and not so much, especially the way we uh, process our meat today. All right, thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out, David, in Oklahoma. Thank you for calling. All right, if you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back, and we do have lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben from... The uh, journal Diabetes Care, check this out, diabetes drug metformin, that's uh, pretty much the, the best-selling diabetes drug. Diabetes drug metformin's primary effect is in the gut. <laughs> it's on the digestive system. Now, if you've been listening to this program, this is not a surprise to you. Diabetes is a digestive issue first and foremost. This is so important, you guys. You know, we got diabetes is the... Uh, second or th it's the third leading cause of death in this country and it is literally an epidemic and it's related to almost every single degenerative health challenge you can name uh, this is from the journal retina metabolic syndrome which is a diabetes or blood sugar problem and the risk of macular degeneration uh, let's see got another one here somewhere about diabetes uh, health care costs di uh, for diabetics more than double those without the disease study finds diabetes is a really serious business and it's a digestive problem, all right? It's a food problem. Nobody needs to have diabetes. Nobody needs to deal with amputations and, and blindness and degeneration and high blood pressure and weight problems and lack of libido and all the anti-testosterone and pro-estrogen effects of, of diabetes and, and blood sugar and elevated blood sugar. It's an eating issue, restricting your intake of fast-burning sugars, bread, pasta, fruit juice, fruits, desserts, etc., and getting yourself on the sweeties and the B vitamins and electrolytes. And, of course, correcting any health, uh, digestive health issues is your main strategies for dealing with this horrible, horrible health issue that affects so many millions, 100 million Americans uh, are either diabetic or pre-diabetic. How can a health crisis affect 100 million people in one country. I venture to say it's probably half a billion people around the world. How can you have one health challenge that affects that much of humanity? Clearly, we're doing something wrong. Clearly, our medical model is not working. Clearly, our representatives are, of our medical model are ignorant. 
the, those who are propo uh, proposing the strategies that are endorsed by this failure of a medical model, what are they thinking? If you have diabetes or you have bo excess body fat or you're dealing with a degenerative disease or you have any kind of health challenge, it's so simple, you guys. Focus on digestive health. Stabilize the blood sugar. Calm the body down. Make sure you're using your deep breathing techniques. And for our uh, last caller, Dan, I believe, uh, one, I forgot to mention one of the most important ways to, to increase your testosterone levels is use resistance training. Uh, it doesn't have to be fancy schmancy weightlifting at the gym. It could be with a heavy duty rubber band that you buy in an exercise store and you just stick it to your, the bottom of your couch and uh, put your leg in that rubber band and kind of do, do crossovers with your legs. Or you can uh, attach the heavy duty rubber band to something that's higher up and do crossovers with your upper body, with your arms. You can carry heavy weights or carry a couple of gallons of water and walk up the stairs. You can put a gallon of water in a backpack and walk up the stairs. These are all wonderful ways to build muscle, wonderful ways to, uh, to exploit or leverage the benefits of resistance training to increase testosterone levels. And when you're done with your workout, that's when you want to do your supplements. When you're done with your workout, you especially want to make sure you're doing your protein. Whey protein is the best or egg protein. When you're done with your workout, you especially want to make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and your micronutrients. And if it was me, after my workout, I like doing my creatine. And after my workout, I also do my essential fatty acids, my ultimate EFAs. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's welcome Barbara in Colorado to the bright side. What's up, Barbara? How you doing? And we're in Colorado, oh. are you, by the way? Barbara? Hi, how are Hi. you? Thank you. Hey, what's up? Where in Colorado are you? I'm uh, just outside of Boulder in Louisville. Oh, no kidding. Have we met? No. Oh, nice Not to yet. talk to you then. So you just heard, no. have you just heard me on the radio or have you been in my I, presentation? No, I've just heard you on the radio. I started listening down in Austin and moved back home up to Boulder finally. Very nice. Very nice. So what's going on? How can we help you? Well, I'm 53. I've had Crohn's since I was five years old, before oh. they even knew what Crohn's was. Oh, my gosh. They gave me um, an appendicitis, an appendectomy at five because they didn't believe me when I told them where the pain was. Are you serious? They took oh, out, you, so you told them your pain was in your in your belly, and they took right out your intestine. Lower right quadrant, and they kept moving my hand over and saying, you sure it's not over here? And I said, no, <laughs> down there. Unbelievable. So they didn't believe me and took it out. Um, and because I'm 53, I've been going... I've gone through menopause. I'm still suffering the effects of night sweats and uh, oh, okay, okay. And you still have the Crohn's going on, right? Oh, absolutely. And you're, are you medicated I, at all? I don't take. I I won't go to a doctor for Crohn's ever again. They okay. Keep, well, you're a smart woman. Let me let me give you. Are you on any supplements? No. The problem is, um, I started seeing. Um, I'm seeing a functional medical doctor down in Austin, and I'm seeing a nutritionist up here. And they and didn't I tell you about probiotics? Zero. Well, I have zero absorption. So my nutritionist... You don't absorb probiotics. They go into your intestine. They're not absorbed. Right. Absor so you should be on the best probiotic supplement you could find, and it'll change your life. If you haven't been on a probiotic and you got Crohn's disease, it will oh, change I'm your life. Or you have already. Oh, yeah. I, I've been on lots of probiotics, but she put me on aloe vera juice, which is... Who is this person? A nutritionist? Yeah. Okay. Well, aloe vera juice is cute. And you need more than cute, okay? You need some hardcore stuff. There's so many, so many of these, these silly little things that are, you know, they're cute. Like our aloe vera, it may make a slight difference. But you need some serious stuff, ma'am. You should be yeah. on the best probiotic you could find today. And tell that, I said, you mentioned this to the nutritionist. Say, you talked to a guy on the radio. He said, get on the best probiotic you could find immediately, today. I wouldn't yeah. wait, to, as soon as you hang up the phone. Order the, pro, order the BioLumin Nightly Essence. That's the best one I know of. Uh, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. You want to be eating fermented foods, especially yep, fermented. Okay, especially ground up. Especially, you, yep. you want to minimize the work that your intestine has to do. Absolutely. Okay, for the, right? You, you know really what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, caloric restriction and, and soups and juices. Cabbage yep. soup can be, are you doing you cabbage soup? Oh, so you got, you got it going on. So, so what, oh, tell me what. My question the, is, I'm, I'm. I'm interested in this estrogen and the absorption because I'm on um, uh, hormone pills. Um, what do you want? What's it called? Uh, estradiol. Okay. And you're taking it orally, estradiol? Yes. Okay. Um, so here's what you want to do. First of all, that's not, in my opinion, 
Just my opinion, not a good idea. Estradiol is really, really powerful stuff, and you already have an issue with processing estrogen if you have Crohn's disease. So right. probably you want to be very careful with that estradiol. I uh, only take it sporadically because it doesn't – only when – which is has, thing. has anybody told you about progesterone? I've done the progesterone creams and so forth, but they just aren't strong enough to, to you really You need to have me. a compounded progesterone cream made specially for you. You're right. They're not strong <laughs> enough. They're very weak. In fact, that's the biggest problem with progesterone cream that you buy in the, you know, the, the pre-made stuff. It's usually about no. 1% or 2%. You need a 10%. Do you, is, he making, is he making you a 10%? Yep. 10%? Yeah. Are you positive? That's very rare. Who is it? Is what? it in, in Boulder? It was... Um, or Austin. It was out of Lakewood. Okay. I know who you're talking about. So uh, uh, I, I didn't know that he was making a 10%, but that's great. If that's, t if that's still too weak for you, if the progesterone cream is still too weak for you, bump it up by taking a little bit of pregnenolone, 100 milligrams of pregnenolone with it. And that'll give you a little bit more uh, progesterone effects. That'll increase the benefits. I've never heard of anybody having a problem with 10%. I've never heard of anybody actually making a 10%. But assuming that you're on a 10%, it's not working for you, bump it up with a little pregnenolone. Make sure you're using fats and fatty vitamins. This is, this is very important for helping yeah. balance out the effects of the estrogen and also for uh, improving the, the progesterone effects, and particularly vitamin A and vitamin E. If you have an intestinal problem, the chances are good that you're not going to be absorbing those nutrients. So I'd be using 400 IU of vitamin E a day, look for mixed tocopherols. I'd be using 20,000 IU of vitamin A a day, and I'd also be including zinc. Vitamin A and zinc are two extremely important building elements, and if you have a problem with your intestine, the chances are good that you're not going to absorb either of those. So you're going to want 20,000 IU of the vitamin A, you're going to want 50 milligrams of zinc, you look for zinc picolinate, and make sure you're getting enough iodine as well. Again, with uh, the intestinal problems, you're going to have issues absorbing these things. If you're not on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, that might be something that you want to think about for a couple of reasons. Number one, because of the high concentration of the B vitamins and vitamin C, both of which play a very important role in hormone health, but also because it's liquid and liquid nutrients. Yeah. Uh, anything you do sure. with... Anything you do in terms of liquids is going to be very helpful. Uh, the aloe vera, you know, I was kind of teasing you a little bit, but aloe vera, it, it can be kind of soothing for the digestive tract, a noni juice and such, but you've you got bigger fish to fry than just soothing the digestive tract. Uh, last but most certainly not least, uh, cartilage products. You said you were on the bone broths. Continue on the bone broth, uh, but you might also want to throw in the glucogel caps, and really I would highly encourage you to make sure that you're getting all 90 of your essential nutrients because with an intestinal problem, a long-term intestinal problem, problem, the odds are really good that you're going to be malnourished uh, and dealing with nutrient deficiencies. Thanks for your call, Barbara. If you have any more questions, uh, please uh, contact me at ben at ksco.com and put your phone number on there and I'll get back to you personally. All right, that's all the time we have for today. We're going to talk enzyme health tomorrow and we'll also talk uh, some skin lightening strategies, topical skin lightening strategies. Thanks for listening. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have a wonderful, spectacular, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.